Welcome to another video at Jones Metal Products. Today we're gonna to talk about NADCAP heat treating. What we're doing is we're approved to heat treat at the very highest level. NADCAP is an organization that comes in and audits you and they check for any mistake, any dot, any period, any gash out of place. And the, the potential penalty is you could lose your certification. Uh, if you knowingly do something, the owner could go to prison. And we, at Jones Metal, we have a no prison policy here. So I do not want to go there. We follow the rules. So to give you a little bit of history, we got into uh, heat treating probably 20 years ago, and that was our first furnace. So now we have two furnaces, three aging ovens, and a vacuum oven. And the reason we got into this was because aerospace, when it gets busy, sometimes the lead times can go out four weeks, eight weeks, if it's really busy. And we just can't do that, especially in development, because we might have several iterations uh, of a process and we might have up to three heat treats in one process. So to stretch out e each heat treat by a month, it would take a year to develop a part. Having all of this here in our location and having it NADCAP approved, we can keep things going. We can heat treat it overnight and be back on the press the next day. So some of the special requirements of NADCAP that a normal heat treater wouldn't be held to is like we're measuring the accuracy of our equipment every month. We also have machinery that operates on a very tight tolerance. The, in that cap, they tell you any variance you're allowed to have in like the heating in a furnace or how quick your freezer has to come back up to temperature. Our freezer, we actually spent $40,000 on a freezer just so it can come back up to temperature, that cold temperature uh, within, I think the, the specification is less than five minutes. So some of the things you don't even think about that go into being a, a high level NADCAP heat treater is even how you load the parts into the basket. They have to be separated so you get even temperature all over. You can't have one part getting up to a high temperature on this end of the basket and another one not reaching that temperature. We have thermocouples that are into the basket in different areas to ensure that each part is at temperature for the proper amount of time. Also how we quench the parts. We have 15% glycol solution in this quench tank. In the other quench tank, we have hot water, cold water. So depending on the requirements of the NADCAP heat treating, we can run it in the proper quench. Some other heat treaters might only have cold water or hot water, and you're just not gonna get there. Also, with just using water, you're gonna get a lot more distortion. That's the advantage of using the 15% glycol solution. These are just some of the reasons why we're so good at what we do. We can heat treat, whether it's aluminum or vacuum heat treating, at the highest NADCAP level that, that's out there. So if you have those tight specifications from an OEM that you have to hit, we're a company that can do that for you. So give us a call, send us some pictures of the parts or prints, and we can talk to you about how we can do business together.